Today we'll be looking at the Spatial Effect Generator, or SEG, originally developed by John Searle in England after World War II. I've run some experiments based loosely on the SEG. I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching. The SEG used rare earth magnets, copper and dielectric rings, and a neodymium center that was not magnetized. A set of 12 or more rollers, similarly constructed, raced around the outside of the inner copper ring, not quite touching it. A second and third concentric copper and dielectric rings supported increasing numbers of rollers. Each ringlet of rollers were driven by rollers from the adjacent rings. Here's the fantastic part. This machine produced prodigious amounts of current. YouTube videos about the SEG weren't that common when I built mine. Most of the SEG videos today are obviously built in a machine shop. Everything you see in this video, I built with hand tools. My intent from the beginning of these experiments was to harness some of that current in order to charge my battery bank. The elusive challenge for me was measuring and extracting the power that Searle claimed he had achieved. My first order of business was to construct the machine. I cut down a 4 inch copper pipe fitting for the first ring and 3 quarter inch copper pipe for the rollers. I used CA glue to secure small bar magnets along the inside of the rings and rollers. 3 inch PVC reducer bushing was used as a dielectric on the center ring. I used steel in the center of the rollers in place of the non-magnetized neodymium. My hope was that for this series of experiments, steel would suffice. The face of my rollers were north, and the inner ring was south, so the runners clung to rather than floated over the ring, which was an additional departure from Searle's design. You can hear it. Next came the electronics. Using a couple Arduinos, I put together a hand-built output board. It's not pretty, but prototypes simply have to work. How they look is another matter. Hull proximity switches told the MOSFETs when to fire through the Arduinos. A small 9 volt battery drove a single roller at a good clip. More power was needed to drive more rollers. One to three rollers was easy. Above that, the rollers tended to bunch and bind. Perhaps this was due to my north-south orientation of the rollers and ring. To overcome the bunching, a roller assembly frame was tested. Much higher rotational speed was attained. How to measure and extract current still escaped me, so perhaps the MEC would prove more promising. The magnetic Energy Converter, MEC, was originally created by two Russian physicists, Roshchin and Godin, in the 1990s. It was similar to Searle's SEG, but the center ring was rotated with a machine. A rigid framework held the rollers, allowing them to spin in place. For me, this design could possibly be easier to extract energy from, so out came the tools parts and pieces. My attempts to pull energy out of this design did not prove fruitful. I do believe that there is a lot here to build from. That's why I present it here today in hopes that one of you will have better success and perhaps leverage some of the work that the rest of us have done to date. I do expect to run further experiments in this area in the future, but for now I'm busy with other projects so please feel free to use what you see here and take it to the next level if you can. Good luck.